<clears throat> Let us check how does it go. Will will it again be late with uh, with uh, making a record? <clears throat> this one is about uh, yoga track practice. Um, what to say? <clears throat> I was lost this summer. When I observe now, I had lots of changes because of COVID. So I was helping last year. This time I was working from London to Croatia with my son like every day. And again, I had lots of things to uh, do when I came home. Lots of things were stressful even when um, we try our best to kind of proceed with our routine because I think the exercise of Ashtanga Yoga is like repetitive I was like I don't know will I pronounce good like I really love Laruga like she is uh, a teacher and practitioner of Ashtanga Yoga which is amazing and recently I'm not sure it was a year old video which she shared and she mentioned like I'm practicing for 15-16 years and she mentioned that part in which she kind of say yeah it's repetitive it's like every day the same position going through but in some ways so deep for observer could look like something boring but actually it's not it's like going slightly deeper every time so yeah uh, I'm again lost I'm sorry <laughs> so mm, that stress last year I, I actually don't remember when I start again to eat meat but probably I couldn't follow all what I had to follow to eat healthy and I didn't feel well uh, so when I came home, I think coming home to your food that you are used to eat is like, is again putting some weight on. But okay, probably relaxing being with your family and everything. So now recently, it's always before Easter, 40 days, I quit on eating meat and again feeling much better like it's my natural state <laughs> but now I was just attracted by uh, fairies like um, and then about the fairy star with seven points and then connected with seven colors and it just go and go and Ayurveda weekdays and colors and now when I doing my food I do through colors like so it would be more interesting and make some other perception through visual which is much more easier for me to learn about food and everything else so I am into it but recently I managed to do more of my morning practice when I wake up around 5.20 in UK time and I still can't manage to do all practice because I do my small intro small <laughs> to kind of shake myself up because I will be 47 this year <laughs> And uh, there is lots of changes uh, and I was I had vaccination for 
COVID and I didn't felt well. It wasn't like too bad, but I had problems with uh, some little ball in my leg and um, that after this vaccination I felt every day off with Sunday like really slow down and no energy but now I, I refuse second one until I see what will happen but now was first Sunday I felt actually really good after and so my practice start to be better and better uh, I can feel lots of uh, difference in the positions and uh, what is the most beautiful I feel so energized uh, during the day when I do my practice and um, that's huge amount of energy so it affects my presence that means when you walk when you work you feel so so energetic and powerful which is so beautiful and uh, uh, what change in my practice I finally start to feel my core which is all my life since puberty the worst part so I feel movement and to feel that tiny tiny feeling it's like a promise you have something to work on it that means like sometimes teachers say you have to have a mind awareness don't if you even don't feel just put your mind on it so that you are aware of something but now when I can feel my core and that moment open so much more in every position to push because you have one thing more which is happening and my shoulder doesn't hurt anymore I had problem with the knees going back and I find some videos that explain that so and so being able to go easy in this positions previously showed this balance probably in um, as last of your body and now when all is aligning it, it changing the structure which I thought will happen <laughs> but what amazing is core and my upper body part so I change some number of my clothing and um, if I wear my trousers I feel them differently and uh, sometimes you just adjust yourself with hands and when I kind of touch my hips and back it feel in my arms different which is more muscle um, what also happened I am aware more of my breath through standing sequence even a sitting which is a big sign because it goes from inside and uh, it makes so much pleasure being in that position that when I cannot do it I'm so sad and I made a major mistake in the morning when I used to do my practice and couldn't make the finishing sequence I just stopped there and run which is totally wrong and that's one of things that probably my teacher would never allow which is with reason so you fill up your energy up in the head and I didn't 
feel myself good so many times because of it and for me it was and my synapses was much more important to reverse energy and to let blood flow and I'm still skipping Shavasana because I'm running and that's not good I need to kind of put time 15 minutes previously so I could do a little bit of Shavasana as well there is much more things uh, which is happening and I'm so sorry I don't put on my everyday practice but I will try to do once weekly to update for myself at least to see what's happening there yeah I usually have much more in my head with my thoughts and need to write down to remind myself so that's all about my thoughts about yoga progress yeah thank you bye bye